going on? I'm Jay Ball, and today I'm going to show you three ways to land your fakie. <laughs> now, if you watch our videos, you'll know that recently I uploaded a video on how to fakie or ride backwards your fixed gear bicycle. Now, maybe you watched that video and you're like, Jay Ball. I learned to ride fakie and now I can't get out. What do I do? Well, I'm gonna show you three ways to do that today, okay? Method number one, probably the most popular, is the slider. The slider is where none of your wheels leave the ground and you drag the front wheel sideways until you are riding forward. In my opinion, this is one of the most stylish ways to land your fakie. The pros to this one is that it looks cool, it feels cool, and it's relatively easy to learn. The only downsides I could think of is that it's really hard to do when you're going really slow, and it's really hard to do if you're going really fast. I've definitely tried some sliders going way too fast and like you kind of flip over, but other than that, it's one of the best ways to get out of your fakie. Now there's a beginner and there's an advanced way to do a slider. For the beginner version, all you have to do is keep your weight back and turn your bars. And then once that front end starts to come around, you realign it up with your bike. That's the easy way. Once you get a little bit more comfortable though, you can do it the advanced way. It involves what I like to call a fakie carve. Now take note about the fakie carve because I'll be referring to it more throughout this video. But basically what the fakie carve is, is while you're riding backwards, you turn the bar sharply in the opposite direction you want a slider to the point where it'll almost make you fall over. And then before you actually make yourself fall, you save yourself with a slider by turning your bars the other way. This adds extra swag points to your slider. The most important part with the beginner and the advanced version of the slider is that you keep your weight back. If you start to slider while your weight's forward, you'll usually lose it and won't land it. You don't wanna keep it back the entire time though. Once that front end comes around, you kind of reshift your weight from back to middle or else you'll kind of just keep eternally slidering into infinity. Method number two to land your slider, personally my least favorite method, is the pivot out. This is more of an old school get out. It's used by a lot of like old and mid school BMXers with brakes and a lot of old school fixed gear riders as well. It's basically a slider, but besides your front wheel dragging on the ground, it lifts up almost like a 180 Kio. A pro for this method, in my opinion, is that it's the easiest to learn. Uh, it's the first way that I learned how to get out of my fakies and probably a lot of other people as well. And then the cons for this is that it just doesn't look that good in my opinion. And it's also pretty hard to do if you're going really fast. Now the way you do this one is by starting with that fakie carve that I talked about earlier. Instead of turning your wheel to slider, you turn your head and lock your legs. And then it comes around kind of like a Kyo spin. If you carve hard enough on this, it actually pretty much happens automatically and you don't have to think about it that much. It's why it's the easiest to learn in my opinion. Now the last way to get out of your fakie, my personal favorite is the half cab. The half cab lifts both wheels off the ground and essentially is just a fakie 180. Pros for this one is that you can use it at any speed and it looks really nice in my opinion. The cons are that it's harder to learn and if you're using skinny tires, it kind of hurts your wheels a little bit. But if you can finesse it, it's my favorite way. For this one, you're also gonna utilize the fakie carve that I talked about earlier. While you're carving backwards, you wanna compress your knees and get them to a bent position. Then when you get to that point where you're about to fall over because you carved so much, you spring your knees, turn your head and your bars, and you lift up on the straps. This will get both wheels in the air and swing you around. What's really important about this one is that fakie carve again, because if you carve hard enough and then just kind of turn your head a little bit and lift up on the straps, it's another one that kind of happens automatically. So let's review. We have the slider where you drag your front wheel. We have the pivot where you swing your front wheel. And then you have the half cab where you lift both wheels off the ground and turn while you're in the air. Let me know which method you like the best. Let me know which one was the easiest for you to learn because you know, everybody's different. We all have different learning curves. Please leave a comment, subscribe. It helps us out a lot. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Let me know what I should teach you next.